Hafta mı? It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Raiders and the Rams. And it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the city of angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Los Angeles Rams. we go from SoFi Stadium. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Back to throw, Stafford. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. On the return, Carter. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. 
They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. He gets this to Devontae Adams. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as a tackle made up at the 48-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. O'Connell looking to throw on first. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 47, it's second and five. Throwing, O'Connell. Fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I tell you what, that's a better throw from a guy his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. To throw here, O'Connell. I uh, had a man but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. To throw on second down is Stafford. Open man right side is Cup complete. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Uh, hang on here. We got an injury. And, yeah, it's Cooper Cup who's going to receive some attention following that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. This now a third and four. Throwing a Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, 
and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about the job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? Here's Stafford now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. You always worry about the small receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And the safety, Trayvon Merrick, up to make the play defensively. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a throw here, hauled in. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. to gain is the 33 on third down. Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have the Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. That's caught. It's 2 2 at one. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 22. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now he's got it. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. Williams will score. Touchdown, L.A. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. the 
touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, we went from scoreless to 13-0 in a hurry. First, their offense had the touchdown, and now the defense comes through with one. You can't get a better one-two punch than that. Pop a touchdown offense by getting one on defense. If they keep that effort up, you'll take the other sideline out of this one very quickly. Marr now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. It's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nice, smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. 
The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Here's A.J. Cole now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and ten. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football, first and ten. Now they air it out to start the drive, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Now it's Stafford over the middle and complete to the tight end Higman, and inside the twenty before he's brought down. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Stafford, Higby secures it over the middle. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And it is caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams take a three-touchdown lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. That time, a six-play drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. 
From his end zone, here comes Carter. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it, show him what he's made of. Now a second and ten. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. O'Connell to throw, third and short. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now Stafford. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here comes Carter. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it'll be Raiders football first and ten. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. want to. I know, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Second and 10. 
Jacobs going to try the middle. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. They'll see about converting this third and eight. And they go play action here with O'Connell. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good for 28 yards. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And O'Connell now to throw. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Off the play fake. O'Connell. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Play action. Now O'Connell. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. O'Connell working from the gun. This is caught, and he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so. Bring it up second down and a bit farther. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. O'Connell throwing. Third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding offense. 
down in this one. They needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have. As you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. Fourth down and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson, from 28 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to Williams to begin things. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. To throw on second down is Stafford. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Carter, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled them a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost, and then a little bit more. They'll come up facing third and five. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Ethan Evans now. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3. I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. First down throw, O'Connell. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one in second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Here's second and 10. Now O'Connell. Throwing the slant, and he finds Mayer. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. 
On third and one, O'Connell working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second down in a yard. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty there. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Back to throw. O'Connell. That one too wide and incomplete. This defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. Now it's O'Connell. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. are going to have it first and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action this fielded right at the goal line and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 the Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter 
And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Throwing on first down, O'Connell. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Looking deep for Adams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Here's O'Connell. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And attempted a deep ball there, they didn't get it. But boy, they're gonna need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And a throw there gonna be incomplete. Well, if they have any designs on getting back into this football game in the second half, they're going to need to be much sharper offensively than they were on this opening possession. Not much happening here, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Stafford now to throw. Short throw, it's Higby. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here is third down and four. To throw is Stafford. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Rams first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Stafford. Right back to Adwell. That's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again at Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 44-yard line. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second down, Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And they go play action here with O'Connell. And that's complete to Adams. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Throwing, O'Connell. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The L.A. defense up the snuff in coverage there, pushes this to fourth down. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Rams ready to go on offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. But found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Nine yards on the game there, so from second and 19, now we've got a third and 10. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And out across midfield down to the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Here's Stafford. He's got Higby complete right side. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now second and three. Now Stafford. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Here's Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. Wide open receiver complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Carter, I'd like to just stand aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Williams diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. Here in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line, and here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Raiders offense ready to go. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now O'Connell. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. This is a foul. So a roughing the passer penalty there, CD. And we know that these pass rushers love to get after rookie quarterbacks, but they've still got to do it within the scope of the rules. And that time, the hit came just a little bit too late. And the official won't even think twice about pulling this flag on that one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On second down, O'Connell. Very quick throw, he's got Myers. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down.
O'Connell on first and ten. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's O'Connell. The open man here, Renfro. Personal foul. Face man. Deep man. So give him the yardage on the completion and also tack on 15 more. If you get that hand up there, oh, you've got to let go immediately or just not close the hand at all. He didn't, gave it a tug, and that was easy for the officials to see. O'Connell now off the bootleg. He finds his tight end Gentry. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback the Rams offense now making their way out to take over well, there are two scores on the plus side still time here in this fourth quarter but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away yeah I think here's the situation you're not thinking touchdowns anymore you're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away first downs they can't touch the ball Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Pass complete there to Nakua. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. <laughs> Up the middle, it's Williams. Not much there, maybe a couple up to the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations 
where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Play action, Stafford. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Well, normally, you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. To the air again, Stafford. Right back to Atwell, that's complete. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one to cop complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 27-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Williams going to get it again on second down. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 47 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They run it again with Williams. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down.
They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Now the Raiders are going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They snap it to Stafford. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Holding offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Maher is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Here's O'Connell again on second and ten. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Myers. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and exit. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 45 yard line. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. O'Connell looking to throw on first. 20! And he's brought down after a very nice game. That's good for 28 yards. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. B 
bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. And that is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in the lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. O'Connell here on fourth down. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. Another one in the books for his partner. Always great to be by your side. And look, both offenses, both defenses had some moments in this one, but I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on film. Absolutely, partner. And let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Southern California.